This is Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Located in the Livermore Valley, about 50 miles east of San Francisco, the lab is where the nation's topmost science, engineering, and technology come together. National security, counterterrorism, medical technologies, energy, climate change. Our researchers are working to develop solutions to these challenges. For more than 50 years, we have been keeping America strong. From its inception, the mission of Lawrence Livermore National Lab has been to apply its scientific and technical expertise to solve complex problems of national importance. Over the years, we've built our reputation on being the home of new ideas, often ones that have involved significant technical risk, and then delivering on those approaches. That expertise is needed now more than ever to deal with the significant challenges facing our country. The laboratory is a leader in transforming scientific breakthroughs and cutting edge engineering into solutions for real world problems. And we're sought out as a valued resource, not only directly to the US government, but also as a collaborator with national laboratories and universities, and as a partner with industry. Livermore scientists and engineers are tackling the grand challenge of understanding the scientific details of nuclear weapons performance through non-nuclear tests and experimentally validated computer simulations. We're leveraging science and technology to help transform the Cold War era nuclear weapons complex into a smaller, safer, more secure, and more cost-effective complex that meets 21st century needs. And that includes the need to enhance the energy and environmental security of the nation. We're doing that in a big way with the National Ignition Facility, or NIF. With its 192 laser beams, NIF will study the essence of fusion, a potential source of limitless energy. Working in tandem with NIF is our TerraScale simulation facility, housing some of the world's fastest supercomputers. Researchers here can model the experiments conducted at NIF. These computers can also help us unravel the complexities of science, how materials interact, what happens during an earthquake, and what's happening with our weather. Our climate experts study the atmosphere to learn about meteorological changes and to help predict the movements of volcanic ash and other atmospheric releases. Our groundbreaking research ranges from tiny to huge, from modeling of nanoparticles to helping discover a new solar system some 5,000 light years from ours. Our Center for Accelerator Mass Spectrometry is the world's most versatile and productive facility of its kind. It performs more than 25,000 scientific operations per year, measuring the isotopes and test materials for applications ranging from biology to radiology, chemistry, and geology, among others. We're helping our nation's efforts towards energy independence with the development of alternative fuel vehicles. Our researchers have made a major advance for storage tanks that can be used in hydrogen-powered cars. Our technology has medical applications. We came up with a major improvement to a cancer-fighting tool called proton therapy, which we've licensed to private industry. And we're working to develop an artificial retina as part of a national effort. Many of these projects have had their roots in the work we've done to solve complex national security concerns. And that work is still one of our primary missions. Here, for example, is our single particle mass spectrometry system. It can detect in real time four potential threat materials, biological, chemical, explosive, and radiological, along with illicit drugs, all of them simultaneously. It also has the potential to rapidly detect tuberculosis and differentiate it from other bacteria. Another detection device is our autonomous pathogen detection system, which is ready to help protect key facilities in cities across the country. 
Our Biosafety Level 3 facility was the first such facility in the Department of Energy complex. The work done here is aimed at protecting the nation against bioterrorism as well as infectious diseases that pose threats to public health. We've designed air cargo inspection facilities and come up with this easy-to-use disposable detector for airport screeners, law enforcement, and the military. It's called Elite and is sensitive to more than 30 types of explosives. We've also developed detectors to keep the nation safer from nuclear terrorism. Several states are already deploying vehicles like this one, equipped with our Adaptable Radiation Area Monitor, or ARAM. It can detect hidden radioactive material the size of a grain of sand, even if it's moving at 45 miles an hour. We also monitor events overseas to keep the free world safe from weapons of mass destruction. We use specially designed chambers like this one in our High Explosives Applications Facility, or HEAF, to study conventional explosives. HEAF has been named a National Center of Excellence by the National Nuclear Security Administration for High Explosives Research and Development. That includes our commitment to the environment we've switched our entire fleet of lab vehicles to clean-burning E85 ethanol fuel. We've intensified our community outreach with tours, teacher training, and public appearances by our senior most scientists. We are ever mindful of our responsibility to the American people. They've entrusted us with a critical and compelling mission. Even as we deliver on solutions to meet the national security needs of today, we are also building capabilities for the future and positioning our laboratory to meet the country's needs in the years ahead. You can depend on that.